Okay then, so now we've got a simple layout sorted and a space for a sidebar on the left over here. Next, I wanna create a sidebar component to sit over here on the left in that space and then add a small list of links to the sidebar to the different pages we've got in the application. So that's to the dashboard page, which is this page, the create page where we can in the future add new tasks and the profile page. And to do this, we can use the list component that Chakra provides us with, which also lets us easily add list icons as well. So first of all, let's create the sidebar component. And that's gonna go inside the components folder that we created earlier. And once we've done that, we can then boilerplate a new component again by typing RFC and then hitting tab. And again, if you're using a version of React, which is at least version 16, I believe it is, then you can delete this React import at the top because it's no longer needed. All right then, so let's start this by using the list component because that's what we want inside this sidebar, a list of links. So we'll say list and you can import that by clicking it right here. And inside the list, in fact, first of all, we can declare a few things on here. So we can say the color is going to be white and that will style things inside the list to be white, which is nice. We can also say the font size is going to be a bit bigger and that would be 1.2 M's, for example. And we'll come back to the other props later on. We'll leave it at that for now. So inside the list component, we can have different list items. So we have a component for that list item. Click on that to auto import it. And inside the list item, I basically want some text, which is gonna be a link to whatever page the item is. So dashboard or profile or create or something like that. And also an icon. Now we can have the text. So for example, dashboard. Now I want this to be a link. Chakra UI does have link components, but I tend to stick with the default nav link components provided by the React Router DOM package. That's what I'm gonna do. If you wanna use links from the Chakra UI library you can do. You can feel free to read about those, but you have to go through an extra little bit of setup to kind of integrate it with the React Router DOM package. So I'm just gonna use the standard nav link components. And then if I want to add any styles, I can do to either text components around this or to this, does it really matter? So let me do a nav link. So we'll say nav link, that is from React Router DOM. So let me place the text inside the nav link now. So dashboard, all right. So we need to say where the link is going to. So we can say to, and remember this is not a chakra component. This is just react router DOM. And this is gonna to be to forward slash the homepage for the dashboard. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is copy this and paste it down here two more times. So we want a link as well to the create page and the text is going to be new task. And then we want a link to the profile page and the text is gonna be profile. Now I'm gonna save this. We need to embed this into the root layout over here, otherwise we're not gonna see it. So let's put it where the span is instead. So side bar, click on this to import it at the top. Like so, save it and preview. And now we can see we have these three links. If I click on those, they're all gonna work. Awesome. Now we can add a spacing prop to, if I close this one off, to the list right here. And that's gonna space them out a little bit. So spacing, and we set that equal to something. So take a look at it now. They're very kind of up against each other. If I say spacing is four, come over here, we can see now we have a bit more breathing room between them, okay? Awesome, so that's all working. The next thing I want to do though is add list icons. Now, if we wanna use Chakra's different icons, we have to install the icons as a separate package. So if you search for icon and come down here, you can see this is how we install it. NPM install Chakra UI icons. So let me copy that for now, but also I wanna scroll down and show you the different icons we have. So all these things right here, and these are all components. So we're gonna use the names of these components in a minute to create these list icons, okay? So if you need them, just search for icon and click on this right here, scroll down, and they're all gonna be right here, okay? So the first thing we need to do is open up a terminal and install the icons package. So let's do that. Grab a new terminal over here, and then I'm gonna paste in npm install chakra UI forward slash icons, press enter to install those. And now we should be able to use them in our project. 
Now, in order to use icons, there's several different components that we can use. We can use an icon component. We can use icons on buttons. We can use icons in lists by using a list icon component. We're going to be using that list item or list icon component rather. So the way we do this is come to wherever you want to output the icon. I want it to be before the text on the left. So just before dashboard, and then we're going to use a list icon component. Click on this to import it up here. And the list icon has a prop, which is as. So like we've seen as on other components to output the particular element that you want to put in the DOM. In this case, we're going to pass in the name of whatever icon we want to use. Now, I just showed you the names of all those icons. Now, I want to use the calendar icon for this one. So I'm going to click on this and that's going to import it. We have to import the icons if we want to use them. All right. Now, we also want it to be white. So I will say the color is equal to white like so. So you can colorize these icons as well. And I'm going to copy that and I'll paste it in each one and we'll just change the icon each time around. So the second one is going to be an edit icon. Oops, edit icon. Click on that to import it at the top, otherwise it won't work. And the third one is going to be at sign icon, this one. Okay, so they're all imported and we're using those three icons before the text down here. So let's save this and see if it works over here. And we don't see them. It might be that we have to restart the server because we installed that new package. So let me open this up. I'm going to cancel out of this and then I'm going to run npm run dev once again. Hopefully now if we refresh, yep, we can see those icons are on the page. Awesome. So there we go, my friends. Dead simple to create lists and have icons in those lists as well.